হ্যাঁ হ্যাঁ কিছুই হতে হবে না বাড়ি এগে রাখো আচ্ছা ব্যাটারি খুলতে হবে না কিছু এই দেখো হ্যাঁ যেমন আমি ফুল রিসেট করছি কিছু হতে হবে না কিছু হতে হবে না এই যে রিসেট করছি তো জার্কিং হবে বন্ধ করবে ঠিক হয়ে যাবে তুমি যেমন আমি ফুল রিসেট করছি কিছু হতে হবে না কিছু হতে হবে না চারটে কয়েল থাকে চারটে রিয়ের উপর ওগুলো গরম হয়ে গেলে এটা বেশি গরম হয়ে গেলে ওটা মাঝে মাঝে ওটা আমারও হয়েছে একদম স্টার্টিং থেকে হয়েছে কি মাঝখানে কি বন্ধ দাঁড়িয়ে ছিল কোথাও দাঁড়িয়ে ছিলাম পাওয়ার অফ করে দেখলাম হ্যাঁ হয়নি তো আর গাড়ি চালাবে আবার ঠিক হয়ে যাবে মানে গড্ডা পাটা পড়বে আবার ঠিক হয়ে যাবে গাড্ডা পড়ছে নাকি না এ কোন হয়ে যাবে ও ঠিক হয়ে যাবে ঠান্ডা হলে দেখবে কালকে ঠিক হয়ে যাবে না হলে তাইলে I'm facing a problem with my Ninja 1000SX when I turn on the ignition so you see the mode indicator is blinking and there is a error of the, on the KTRC, KQS and power that means uh, the traction control, the quick shifter they are not working Okay, and this happened suddenly. I mean, I was on a ride, so while going there, I did not have this issue, but when I was coming back, suddenly this issue came up. And since then, I mean, no matter how many times I switch off the power and switch on, it is not going. Also, I try to, try to reset, you press and hold, and it shows reset all, you press again and press and hold it resets but the alarm is not going this is not the case just with the ninja 1000 sx uh, with the zx 10r zx 6r the same issues are there 
occasionally they show this kind of uh, problem. Now let me try to resolve it by uh, just disconnecting the battery and keeping the battery disconnected for quite some time and then reconnecting it. If that solves the issue then it's fine otherwise I'll have to go to the service center. To disconnect the battery first I need to insert the key here and remove the pillion seat. Then I need to remove these two allen bolts with uh, number 6 allen key. Slide the seat back and here is our battery. Now I'll first disconnect the negative wire then we need to remove this red cover and remove the positive as well. So always uh, remove the negative wire first because what happens that the negative, the whole uh, chassis, the whole body is uh, shorted with the negative one. It's all grounded. So while removing this in case you touch with any other metal component, so there is a chance of short circuit. So first remove, always remove the negative wire and then the positive wire. Now I'll just let it idle for some time. Now, while this battery is disconnected, let, let me quickly check if all the fuses are okay. These two are basically the fuse boxes. This is okay, okay, okay. So all fuses seem to be fine. Okay, now let's connect the battery again. No, the issue is still the same. So that means the problem is not with the, with the memory. I mean, uh, just by removing the battery, we could not clear the alarms. So there may be some issues with any of the, uh, some of the sensors. So guys, the alarm is gone and everything is working as before. Uh, the quick shifter, the KTRC, everything is working. Uh, there is no alarm, the mode is getting changed. The issue is solved. Now I'll tell you exactly what I did. After removing the battery when uh, the alarm didn't go, so I decided to come to the service center and it is around uh, 25 kilometers from my home. Uh, this morning when I started, the alarm was still there. And at the time when uh, I reached the service center at that time too, the alarm was there, but uh, after reaching the service center, uh, uh, you know, the power was off for around uh, 10 minutes. I was just unloading my bags and everything. Then when I switched the power on, the alarm was gone. Okay. So what I understood from this is basically this happens when there is a calibration error, like the there is... Uh, the front wheel, the rear wheel and the engine, this synchronization doesn't happen, uh, this alarm comes. So guys, if you have a Kawasaki bike and uh, you face this issue where the KTRC and quick shifter, this gives you alarm, you don't need to worry. All you have to do is just ride few kilometers for some time and this will, uh, the alarm will go by itself. It's, it's software, it's calibration error. But in case there is a hardware fault, so definitely you'll have to visit the service center to replace the part. So you don't have to worry. All you have to do is just write. The alarm will just clear by itself.